had a great day today fishing in the Gulf Islands, uh, fishing for Chinook, and we had some really good success today. Uh, how do you like to fish over there, and what's your favorite way of fishing? The Gulf Islands is a, is a fun fishery. Um, the fish are aggressively feeding, and so there isn't much in the way of enticing them, or per se force feeding them. Um, generally speaking, I like to fish artificials over there, particularly hoochies this time of year. Um, it allows you to, to fish quite deep if necessary, as well as cover a lot of ground and not worry about if your presentation looks good or if you ruined a piece of bait, per se an anchovy or something like that. So that's generally speaking why I like to run, run hoochies over there in the Gulf Islands. And any particular favorite hoochies? I mean, we use a couple of these guys today here. Yeah, definitely. Uh, well, like use that, one, that one in your hands is, is definitely a favorite, the old blue. Blue that's been a, blue. yeah blue on blue that's been a favorite for years especially in the clear water over there in the Gulf Islands um, we also have our staples uh, chartreuse paired up with a chartreuse spackle back that's a that's a wonderful hoochie combo um, and then the old faithful green on green that's also another another real good combo over there particularly in the dirty water early season um, when the Fraser tends to push push over there and you have that silty plume, the, the darker green, um, and the brighter chartreuse, flasher, hoochie combos tend to produce better for me that time of year. Now we did use hoochies um, pretty much all day, but what else works over there? Uh, well, I mean you can use a variety of different spoons and in different sizes, depending on uh, the size of the bait that's around. Um, we will see juvenile herring over there at the beginning of the year that are two and a quarter inches long, so a small spoon represents that great, all the way up to four and five inch spoons when the herring tend to bump up in size. Um, guys also will fish anchovies over there, but like I said, they, they require a, a little bit more maintenance, um, making sure your roll looks good, not blowing out the belly, um, not sending them down on the downrigger at hypersonic speed when there's a good bite going on. So. Generally speaking, I like the artificials, whether it be metal or metal or plastic, only because I can I can cover a lot of ground and I don't really have to worry about them um, blowing out or, or looking unappetizing to the fish. Yeah, because we were fishing quite deep today. How how deep were we fishing roughly? Uh, we were anywhere from 200 to 300 on the rigger, um, in anywhere from 180 to 250 feet of water. Um, this time of the year through the end of June and July and even into early August as we are here now, um, the fish are very much structure orientated. They push up against the rocks um, and they chase the bait schools in there and I mean you guys saw today that the bait was, was piled in tight but right on on the bottom so that's where the Chinooks have them all corralled and that's where you got to put your gear to get your bites. Yeah, they were quite funneled, you could see right in that bottom gut and yep. really kind of sticking in there and we were pretty much fishing right on bottom. Yeah, we were, as long as uh, you're within, you know, 20 feet of the bottom, you were in the, you're in the zone. So when you're rigging up hoochies and you're rigging them on a flasher setup, how do you like to rig a hoochie? Um, well, I personally like to run tandem hooks on my hoochies, uh, either 4 aught or 5 aught hooks. Uh, these ones here are Gamagatsu's. Owners are great, Mustads are great, VMCs work awesome as well, I've used all brands. Um, as long as you keep a hook file on board and keep them sharp, they tend to work fairly well. My leader is 50 pound Maxima. Uh, the reason because it translates the spin of the flasher to the hoochie. So if you have a soft, supple leader material per se like Berkeley Big Game, um, what ends up happening is your flasher is rotating in the water and your hoochie is doing nothing versus when you have a stiff leader like Maxima, the flasher has a big rotation and the hoochie follows as well. Um, generally speaking, I fish a fairly short leader. This one's about an arm and a half, so 32 to 36 inches, sometimes up to 40. Uh, not very much shorter than 30 for Chinook salmon, a little bit shorter for sockeye salmon. The shorter the leader, uh, the more obvious the spin of the flasher will be to the hoochie. So as the flasher comes around, the hoochie follows. And again, if you have a long leader, the flasher comes around and the hoochie does nothing. Now, on my hoochies, some, some of them I'll rig out the side of the head. It, uh, it'll do two things to the hoochie, depending on each one, they're all different. Some of them will roll in the water, 
like an anchovy and other ones will stall and then speed up through through the spin of the rotation of the flasher so they'll come to the top and stall and then dive down and come around and and it's a it's a neat little trick that tends to work fairly well um, as you can see not all of my hoochies are rigged that way a lot of them are the standard issue straight out of the nose um, it's personal preference they bite both of them really well I feel like it's a matter of putting an appropriate lure in front of a biting salmon and uh, they seem to do a pretty good job of eating it. Well, thanks to you so much for a great day on the water fishing locally on the Gulf Islands. Uh, it's really nice to be 40 minutes from Vancouver and fishing out here. Where can we find more information about fishing locally? Uh, well, you can visit us at the shop on Granville Island. Uh, we are a Gibbs Delta Pro, Pro Staff shop and we do retail all these hoochies, flashers, hooks and leaders. Um, you can message us uh, at our email, info at uh, yeah. And we also do sell these flashers and hoochies at our shop as well, High Water Tackle. And we can help you get set up with any of the Gibbs products and get you sell, set up for the Gulf Islands or fishing right locally. So yeah. thanks for another great day. Thank you very much, Joe. No problem.